Hey guys, it's Gaming Cool Gamer here. We're gonna be bringing you some more Wi-Fi battles on the Pokemon uh, Battle Stadiums uh, singles ladder. So we've been doing some testing with this team, this Gaming Cool Rome Forum team, and while we've had some wins, some really fun wins, um, it's not been doing very well for us. We have not even made the Master Belt tier yet. Um, and I've been really busy this month, uh, so I haven't been playing a lot of competitive Pokemon. We've only played 12 battles, and that's been like once in a blue moon, uh, just when I feel like doing a battle here or there. Uh, we'll definitely climb to Master Vault here soon. I was hoping to do it with the Gummy Girl Roam, uh Roaming Forum team, um, and there's some additions, some changes I want to make um, that I think will definitely make this a lot better compared to some of the problems we've been running into. A lot of it's been bad luck. Like, I got paralyzed in one of my mat last matches and was fully paralyzed five times in a row against an Umbreon that was synchronized um, and they didn't get a single paralysis. So, like, that was horrible. That was a horrible matchup, um, and little things like that have not helped. But I think I think we're starting to get acclimated now to the new meta um, and regulation D since we've not really been keeping up with this month. Um, and I think we'll, we'll we'll find some wins here. I'm going to do two battles in this video today, kind of change it up a little bit, because um, then that's going to be a little bit better than doing just one. Um, so we see some Pokemon, some really good Pokemon here. We know what Cloyster does. Um, it's going to set up right away if we underestimate it. Kukwavl can be really good. Um, if you see my video guide for Kukwavl, then you know how threatening that could be with like Sword Stance or Bulk Up. Um, I don't know what this one's going to be. Uh, Scizor is good. Electric Shocks or whatever called Sandy Shocks. That can be a really good Pokemon. Um, it's just, it just has a weird stat spread that I don't always expect. Um, and Mimikyu is going to hide behind that disguise. So an interesting team. Uh, mostly physical threats outside of the Sandy Shocks. So that's really, really good for us. I think we will lead Hippowdon just for that reason alone. Um, Hippowdon's a solid lead against most of these Pokemon here. Um, I'm actually thinking Glamora could be a really good option. But I would rather go with Slowbro. Yeah, I think, I think Slowbro's the move. Ooh. But we could get burned. Let's go slow, bro. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just see how this one goes here. I'm feeling pretty good about the matchup. Uh, both both of the Pokemon that I'm leaning with, Powdon and Slowbro, handle this team pretty well. And then we also have Gemi Ghoul in the back, kind of just to do some fun things for us. You know what? Maybe Tauros could be a good will Willowist Pokemon on this team, since it's got a pretty good uh, speed stat. Alright, we see the Sandy Shocks. It's the worst matchup since um, it's a special attacker. Um, we do have a type advantage, though, which is good. I feel like this Pokemon has some move that I should be worried about. Hmm... You know what? Let's just go for a yawn here. That's a pretty safe play, regardless. Um, this is probably going to do a lot of damage. Uh, we do live it with over half our health, which is kind of nice. So we could take another one of those um, if he decides to stay. Um, let's get up a uh, rocks just to be kind of annoying here. And he is going to stay. That's fine. That's actually really good for us. Is we'll get up our rocks, and then we could do a lot of damage with the um, Earthquake. Now, what would be funny is if you switched this turn, um, and I don't expect him to, um, and then we went for a roar, but I'd rather just go for the super effective earthquake. That's we're in a really good position right here. Um, something we have to be mindful of with the Hippowdon is that the sandstorm will break our sash for the Gemi Ghoul. Uh, so we have to be careful of what turn we switch Gemi Ghoul in. Um, if we're bringing those two Pokemon, but I found that the Hippowdon with this Gemi Ghoul team actually does do really really well against a lot of those uh solid physical threats this hippowdon is actually meant to kind of bait urshifu rapid strike style um because it's terra water and it's got the rocky helmet um so if it goes for uh the the surging strikes move then it's going to actually take three hits um from the rocky helmet which is super nice and we just eat those like they're nothing um and it's gonna get uh one turn wake because of course it is but we can get paralyzed like five times in a row but that's fine that's that's the game um Hmm, this is not the position I wanted to be in. How fast is Sandy Shocks? And how many turns has this been? Is the Sandstorm going to subside this turn? I hope it is. And I hope we're faster.
We are faster, so that's good. I can never remember uh, Sandy Shox's uh, speed stat. It's such an interesting Pokemon. And is the Sandstorm going to subside? Perfect. Not a great, not a great matchup, but um, we do have the rocks, which is good. Um, again, we got put up against their one special attacker, right? Uh, with hip out on, um, but I think staying in was definitely the play with the Pokemon we brought. Slowbro is going to do a ton of work for us. So that's a nice Pokemon to switch in and out of. Um, not too worried about this Tauros. Um, Power Gem could. Do a lot of damage, but we're gonna hard switch into slow roast since that's such a good matchup for us. And Ranger Bowl, we're gonna eat that pretty well. Uh, we're full physical and then full speed investment. Um, I want to set up the Thunder Wave just to slow this guy down. We'll definitely be fast with Gemi Ghoul with the Thunder Wave up. Um, he is going to go for a switch here. I um, wonder who it is. Maybe Scizor? Quavel. I'm not worried about this matchup at all. Um, even if it's Sword of Stance or Bulk Up, uh, we can break through that pretty easily. We have Psychic, uh, just relying on his naturally decent special attack stat. Uh, and then uh, Body Press, obviously, with that, that defense investment. So I'm going to go for a Psychic here. He'll probably Terra. If he stays, okay, he's gonna switch, but he still take a, takes a lot of damage. Don't really know what the point of point of that was. We don't really care about the intimidate, which he doesn't have. What's its other ability? I don't even know what its other abilities are. That's just gonna take it out easily. Yeah, it's special defense. That's not good. I run it with the Solfest, and that's insane. That was such a good anti-meta Pokemon uh, back in like the first two regulations, regulation A and B. Um, with some of the Pokemon that were running around, because it was good against Golden Go, it was good against King Gambit, it was good against Hydragon, it was good against so many Pokemon. Um, but not as great now nowadays with some of these new Pokemon Regulation B that were are able to be played. And we'll go for a Psychic here, super effective Psychic. We're gonna see the Terra, obviously. Um, curious to see what movie goes for, but that that should be a pretty easy win. Again, Slowbro, really, really good match against a lot of his Pokemon, so I wasn't too worried about this match. Um, we do see the Terra Water, which is pretty standard on Kukwabo, just to boost the Aqua Step. Um, maybe it's even uh, Choice Band. But if you haven't seen my moveset guide on Kukwabo, definitely check it out um, if, you, if you don't know how to use this Pokemon. It's a really, really fun Pokemon because it's a Pokemon that gets access to Roost, um, a Water-type Pokemon that gets access to Roost, um, and so it can kind of snowball with that. And uh, it's got some pretty surprisingly natural ball. Yeah, so that's an easy win for us. And a lot more moveset guides are coming out soon. I'm still working on my formatting. Um, I think I want to start talking to you about like, like the actual type uh, matchups. Like the weaknesses and stuff just with that typing of that Pokemon. Um, so you guys can see it visually. It's not as important with uh, Generation 9 because we have Terra as a backup option, but it's still important to know your type of type matchups, and especially for like newer players who are just learning how to get into competitive Pokemon, I think that's a good discussion to have um, in moveset guides. So, um, But I have a lot of plans. I'll, I'm going to start pre-recording those, so hopefully I can start posting those uh, more frequently, hopefully like every other day. Um, I love making moveset guides to talk about Pokemon, so that should be pretty easy to do. Um, let's do one more for this video today. We're going to switch it up a little bit. We'll do two battles. <laughs> and again, we're only in Great Ball tier. We've been doing a lot of testing. It's kind of horrible. Um, I'm not worried about getting a Master Ball tier. We've gotten a Master Ball tier every other ranked season we've done. And I think we only missed one because we were really, really busy with finals and stuff um, last semester. But it just it has not been working out for us like I've been hoping. Um, with this Gemi Ghoul roaming form team, but it's a ton of fun to use. I, I love it. it, it, it Gemi Ghoul roaming form really is not a competitive Pokemon, so the fact that we're actually using this on the rank ladder is kind of a blast. Um, some Pokemon that definitely indicate a Trick Room team with the Armor Rouge and the Hatterene. Um, Vaporeon's kind of a slow Pokemon, too. I don't remember exactly what that Lorantis does, but I almost think it's like a contrary Pokemon that has like Super Power and Leaf Storm. Um, so we'll have to be careful about that. Rotom might not be the best option here. Hydragon's kind of scary. Garchomp's kind of scary. Um, 
a lot of special attackers this time around. Uh, so I think Fortress is probably going to be a really solid option for us. Um, hmm. Who do I want to lead with? Let's lead with the Fortress since it's pretty solid against all his Pokemon. High Dragon. Who's going to be good against High Dragon? Not much. <laughs> Not much with our team. Uh, we could go Terra Fighting and take it out with Slowbro. That's probably going to be our best option outside of Fortress. I'm just trying to think of this, the other Pokemon on this team are kind of scary. Arm Rouge is really, really threatening. Um, you know what? Let's bring Glamora. Screw it. Uh, being Terra Grass, we can actually deal with Vaporeon and cover for some of our weaknesses. Um, it's not great against some of his Pokemon. Garchomp is really, really scary uh, right now. Especially if it has Dragon Tail, it's going to be kind of annoying because our best option with Fortress to take it out is just setting up curses. Um, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. Okay, we see the Hatterene. Not a bad matchup for us. Um, it might have Mystical Fire, which I'm a little bit terrified of. Um, I'm tempted to hard switch into Glamora since it shouldn't do too much to us. It might just go for Trick Room right away, but it might not too because I have a Steel type because we're both slow. Ooh, what to do, what to do. Let's... I'm going to be a little bit silly with it. I think I want to go Thunder Wave either way, and I have a reason for that. All right, it's going to switch right away, so that's just a free Thunder Wave unless they go Garchomp. Hi, Dragon. It's going to be really nice to have the Thunder Wave on it if we could actually land it, but our block is kind of terrible in Pokemon, which is fine. Because that's part of the game. Um, <laughs> Pin Missile's looking really strong here. Um, and I don't think we'll find an outspeed even if we Thunder Wave it. I am worried about, like, a Fire-type move since it switched into him intentionally. Oh. But he's not expecting the Pin Missile. We don't have Sturdy, because we're Overcoat um, for, like, Powder powder move users. This is not good. YOLO. Let's go for the Pin Missile here. We're going all in. This is going to make us weak to its Dark-type moves, but if it doesn't Terrastalize, which we're Terrastalizing right here, and we're way slower, so he's not going to Terrastalize, we might be able to find a 1-hit KO um, if, if we can land 5 Pin Missiles, um, and it's super effective. He sh Probably going to go for a Fire-type move. I'm hoping he doesn't go for a Dark-type move. Yeah, we see the Heat Wave here. So, because we crash slides, we're able to live that. Um, and that looks like... Yeah, if we can get five hits here, it's going to take it out. Just like I said. Come on. Come on, Fortress. No! Oh. That's unfortunate. Well. Here comes a Dark-type move, unless it's a uh, choice item. There's not really anything else we can do. Um, it's going to switch again. So maybe it was locked into the Heat Wave, which is good for good information for us. That did do a decent amount of damage to us. It's got a massive special attack, but because we're max hit points, max special defense. Um, and that wasn't like a stab move or anything. Maybe it was Specs. Maybe it was Specs. Pin Missile doing a ton of damage to that Hattering here with neutral damage, and we are going to be faster than it. So, we'll be able to get off another one. So, doing really good here. High Dragon's going to come back in and probably take us out with a Dark Knight move, which I'm fine with. Um, and we're actually going to go Gemigul, which I'm expecting just to stay in. Oh, no. He does live. Well, that's okay. Gemigul is going to come in um, and take it out here. And hopefully he'll go High Dragon, because that's going to be the best matchup for him. Um, oh, Life Orb. All right. I'm fine with that. Life Orb Hattering is nuts, um, especially if you're setting your own Trick Room. Um, that Pokemon is terrifying. That's one of my favorite competitive Pokemon. Such a good Pokemon. Um, there's so many fun things you can do too with like Trick Room um, and Revival Plus. No, uh, that's the new move. What's it called? Um, the one where like you faint, uh, use it the rest of your hit points, and then Healing Wish. That's the move. Trick Room Healing Wish is nuts. Um, definitely try that out with Hattering sometime. Uh, that, that thing is insane. 
Uh, we have to go for an attacking move because we're going to be slower here. Let's just hit him with the power gem. Take this guy out. Hopefully he doesn't flinch us. That would be devastating if he did. That would be devastating if he did. Good. We, we do land it. So we still have the advantage here. Um, our last Pokemon is Glamora, and Terra Grass and Glamora is a really, really solid option just for for at least taking out one Pokemon one for one. Um, and the Lorantis, not a bad matchup for us here. So kind of want to hard switch into Glamora in case he's going to go for a physical move. Um, that doesn't really do anything because they don't have any backup Pokemon, so getting Toxic Spikes up doesn't matter at all. But we're going to do this regardless. Um... And we see the Leaf Storm. Yeah, that's going to do insane amount of damage. And it's going to raise its special attack. Is this thing faster than us? Ooh. That'd be sad. Sludge Wave's pretty much our only option. Yep, I'm expecting the Terra here. No! And we see the Terra Rock. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. So we weren't able to squeak out the win on this one, but that's okay. Probably shouldn't have brought Glamora. And again, Glamora, Glamora is kind of a weak link. Um, Glamora, I think, really needs to focus Sash if I'm going to run an offensive set like this or like, like a choice item. Um, that's just not how I've been running it. We don't really rely on the Toxic Spikes and 3v3s, so he's got to change, um, but that's fine. And obviously, <laughs> we have a little gimme goal here. Go for Shadow Ball just for fun. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Um, we'll we'll make a ma Master Ball tier, tier soon. Hopefully, before I do any more videos, I'll make those changes to the team, and we'll have a little bit more luck. Um, but this is Gimme Goal Gamer out.